sometimes you feel a little bit nuttier than a payday bar. So I don't know. So I had the 1000 watt generator. It's great and all, but I realized, you know, it, it can charge batteries and do some other little things, but that's about it. What if it's really hot and I want to use air conditioning in the camper? Well, the 1000 watts would probably, it wouldn't do it, right? So looking online, I found some people that made some videos using a 2000 watt invite inverter generator, and that allowed them to run their air conditioner. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do, and I'll test it out once I get my camper back in the next couple weeks here from storage. Um, so Costco right now has, it's a 2000 watt um, starting 1600 watt continuous generator made by Furman. They have it right now on sale for 350 bucks. So it's a little more than the last generator I had, but it's got double the power. Um, I also picked up, oh, actually ordered a hard start capacitor, it's called, that you plug into the air conditioner, um, which should help this as far as starting the air conditioner. It should definitely help that quite significantly. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so it's just a little inverter generator, great little deal for 350 bucks. What I really like about it is it comes already with a 30 amp outlet for the camper. So that to me is like a huge bonus, comes with this little adapter as well. So to me, that's one of the big selling points. Um, if you want to do a parallel, you can do parallel. It comes with the wires or whatever type of thing. Um, it came with the oil, it came with a spark plug wrench, it came with a little screwdriver. That's a little kit that it comes with. Um, so yeah, there's that. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to start it up so you can hear it. It's, it, it's actually very quiet. I'm actually quite impressed. Um, so I'll start it up and then I've got a 1500 watt heater that I'm going to plug into it and see how it does with that. So let's go. <laughs> Starts starts very easily, no problems. There's one pull. So I'm gonna plug the heater into it now. Right now it's on eco mode, so you can bump it up in eco mode. It's a little louder, obviously. It's still really quiet. Back of the truck. Here's the heater. Do low initially. So this, this heater is, I believe, about 1,500 watts right here. I believe is what it does, 1,500 watts. It did it. What I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to turn it on and let it hit hard with that 1,500 initially. Let me check real quick to see if it overloads when I do that. Actually, I mean, not too bad. So this is the Furman 2000 watt inverter generator that I picked up at Costco for 350 bucks. Not a bad deal. 